happy Easter everybody and thank you for watching my little film I think I need to practice that tune a bit more it's a lovely Easter tune and I was very pleased at Easter to find a present at the end of my drive just outside my house do you want to see what it is I'll show you well my present came in this lovely lovely colorful bag and inside it there was a picture of a church look can you see the church and it's got my name on it robin i was very pleased to see that and then it had a little egg box like that only a little egg box and in the egg box there were two eggs and I've eaten one of them already but there's the other one that I'm going to eat in a minute and I think it's going to be a chocolate one because the other one was made of chocolate and I also had look this lovely lovely pink flower and can you see if you look at it closely you can see that if you look inside the pink flower that somebody's made for me there are lots of little flowers little flower stickers that somebody's put there and this is this flower was made for me by alice and she gave me this for easter and i was very pleased to get it and so i thought what i'd do is i would find a pot like this one and i would pop the flower in the pot and keep that next to my desk where I work to remind me of Easter and of how happy it made me feel to get that present from Alice. Now, somebody said, you know, every time you get a present, what you should do is you should tell a story about that present. Or if somebody makes draws you a picture, you should tell a story about that picture and so I thought what a good idea and I thought of an Easter story about a flower and here it is this is a story about a very beautiful flower that was growing in a pot there's the pot and there's the beautiful flower and in fact this this flower was growing in a pot just outside my front door and it was beautiful. I'm such a beautiful flower, said the flower to itself. And everybody else thought so too. The butterflies thought she was very beautiful and the butterflies were always coming round like this. Look, here comes a butterfly and they'd fly and they'd sit on her lovely warm leaves and they would drink nectar from her from the flower and then they'd fly away because that's what butterflies do but then the flower began to fade and one by one the petals fell off the flower and in the end there was only one petal left on the flower and the flower started to feel very sad and said no one's going to think i'm beautiful anymore i've only got one petal and then even that petal fell off and all the leaves fell off and it began to get cold and windy and the flower looked like this no leaves no petals just a bare stalk sticking out of the pot and the little seeds that were in the flower every time the wind blew the seeds would scatter around and make a rattling sound and the flower was very very sad and then it got really cold and it was winter time and all through the winter the flower was just a bare stalk sticking out of the flower pot next to my front door just looking very bare and very sad and very lonely but then 
it began to get warmer. And then it became spring. And suddenly something started to happen. Underneath the flower, all sorts of little green shoots started to grow up underneath the flower in the pot. The pot was just full of them. And then one wonderful day, one sunny day in spring at Easter time, all those sprouts, all those little little shoots that were growing up suddenly turned into beautiful flowers. And can you see the pot now with all the different flowers there? And, and there you can still see the stalk from the first flower. And the flower was very, very happy. And they were very, very beautiful all together. So beautiful that the butterflies that came out to fly around in the sunshine came flying over to sit on the warm leaves and to drink the nectar in the flowers. And that's an Easter story because Easter is all about, I'm just going to stop there. That telephone might go again. That's an Easter story because Easter reminds us that even though we'll have some sad times, we will have joyful times, happy times once again. And that's really the meaning of Easter in our, especially now when we're sitting at home on our own and we can't go out very much and we can't see the people that we love and we can't go to t Tuesday Tots and we can't go to church, we know that one day all those things will happen again. Just like when the flower was on its own and had no petals, really it should have known that one day there'd be lots of beautiful flowers growing in the pot and everything would be wonderful again. Now, I'm going to sing a song and I wonder if you want to join in with me. I've been thinking about all the bus drivers who are driving their buses at this time and hoping that they're going to be safe and their families will be safe. So let's sing the song about buses, the wheels on the bus, and I'll try and do the actions so that everybody can see them on the screen, which won't necessarily be very easy, but let's see how I get on. Let's go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Are you going to join in with me? Let's do the actions together. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. What about the next verse? Harrison, Roland, are you going to join in? The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The people on the bus go chatter, 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 chatter. The people on the bus go chatter, chatter, chatter all day long the driver on the bus goes bop 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 the driver on the bus goes bop 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 all day long the bell on the bus goes ding 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 the bell on the bus goes ding 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 all day long now, what else can we sing? I wondered whether we should sing a sing about a sing a oh, sing a song about a small sheep because it's a springtime kind of song. So, do you can you tell which song I'm going to sing if I show you the sheep? Can you tell which song it's going to be? 
Harrison, Roland, can you tell which song it's going to be? Anybody else out there? Should we have a wave for everybody who's watching? There's a wave. Look, the sheep is waving to you. There we are, waving away. We're going to sing the song about the black sheep. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little girl who lives down the lane. Thank you, said the master, thank you, said the dame, thank you, said the little boy, thank you, said the little girl who lived down the lane. Now, one other song I would like to sing before we finish. But first of all, let me show you what I've got. Now, how can I do this? If I put my hand like that, ooh, it's only very small. Can you see? Can you see what I've got in my hand? If I bring it up close to the camera. Ooh, this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Anyway, if you see just above my finger, could you see? Could you see those little peas? I've got five peas. Because now is the time of year when I like to put, sow my peas. And I sow them in little pots like this. Look, I've got this little pot. There we are. And in the pot, I've got some soil. Can you see the soil? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the peas in the soil. There you go. One. There's two. And there's three, and there's four, and there's five. I put five peas in the soil, and afterwards I'll put a bit of water on that soil, and then the peas will grow just like those little flowers grew in my pot in the story that I told you. There we are. But of course, now that I've sowed five peas, I think we should sing the song about five peas, which goes like this. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they grew and they grew and they grew so fat and portly that the pea pod popped. We know that one, don't we? Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they grew and they grew and they grew so fat and portly that the pea pod popped. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they grew and they grew and they grew so fat and portly that the pea pod popped. Let's hope my peas grow to be fat and portly and then I'll be able to eat lovely peas with butter in the summer. So, well, that's all that we've got time for in this little film. So thank you very much, Alice, for my flower. There it is again. And if anybody else wants to draw me a picture and put it in the Vicarage letterbox, then I could maybe think of a story to tell about your picture. And I think the uh, Bar Bar Black Sheep just wants to say goodbye before we go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.